Mr. Guardian. It seems that Maester Seymour had... He's young. Care to hear about... Ahem. The Far Plains the place where pyreflies born from ascending gather. They appear in the shape of people who've died and gone to the Far Plain. Quite the phenomenon, how I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They say the pyreflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the Far Plain. No image of the living has ever been seen. It's a great mystery, but maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the hearts of the living. And that little bit borrows the Pyrefly's power for their paranormal performance. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. to hear about Ahem. They may be called pyreflies, but they aren't really flies, you see. They're those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the pyreflies doing. In fact, Pyreflies have something to do with aeons, too. The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Or maybe not, who knows. And that, as they say, is that. These are the past leaders of the Guado. They all look the same. Maester Seymour doesn't look like them, though. No. Don't you know? The last leader. Maester Jiskel wed a human woman. She was Seymour's mother. The last leader, Maester Jiskel. I don't like the smell. I wonder what's. Stay close to you. Kimari not like Mr. Seymour. Why does he want to see? This way, please. This way, please. I will go inform Lord. There's no temple here in Guadalajara, see? Summoners usually just pass through on their way elsewhere. <laughs> what? I didn't even ask a question and you're explaining things. You'd rather I say nothing then? No, no. Maybe you finally believe I don't know anything about Spira. And maybe that means you believe me about Xanarkin too? Well... There are many things I do not know. Your Xanarkand is one of those things. I suppose I can't say what I think, either way. Still, 
Be careful. You shouldn't tell other people. Yeah, I know. Why don't you eat? Stay on your guard. Why? This guy is just a priest, right? Those with power use that power. Maesters have power. Wait. You sure you don't have something against Yevon? <laughs> I lived a long time in Xanarkand. Ah. Oh. I get the feeling he called us up here for more than just dinner. What could it be? Kimari speak no more. It is good to have guests again. Since Lord Jiskel passed away, these halls have been too quiet. The death of Lord Jiskel was a great loss for all of Spira. Was this Maester Jiskel really such a great guy? He brought the teachings of Yevon to the Guado. He was truly a great man. Truly a loss for us all. Now, a new leader, Lord Seymour, has come before us. Lord Seymour is the child of a guado and a human. He will be the tie that binds our two races together. But that is not all, I think. Lord Seymour, he will surely become the shining star that lights the way for all the peoples of Spira. That is enough, Trommel. Must I always endure such praise? Welcome! You wanted to see me? Please, make yourselves at home. There's no rush. Please keep this short. Yuna must rush. Pardon me. It has been a long time since I had guests. Lady Yuna, this way. This sphere is a reconstruction created from the thoughts of the dead that wander the far. Xanarkand? Correct. Xanarkand, as it looked 1,000 years ago. The great and wondrous Machina city, Xanarkand. She once lived in this metropolis. <laughs> she who? She was the first person to defeat Sin and save the world from its ravages. And you have inherited her name. It was my father who named me. Lord Braska was entrusting you with a great task. He wanted you to face Sin as Lady Unaleska did. However, Lady Unaleska did not save the world alone to defeat the undefeatable Sin. It took an unbreakable bond of love, of the kind that binds two hearts for eternity.
Wow, your face is beet red. You okay? He... He asked me to marry him. You serious? Uh, hey! You know what Yuna must do. Of course. Lady Yuna. No, all summoners are charged with bringing peace to Spira. But this means more than just defeating Sin. She must ease the suffering of all Spira. She must be a leader for the people. I proposed to Lady Yuna as a maester of Yevon. Spira is no playhouse. A moment's diversion may amuse an audience, but it changes nothing. Even so, the actors must play their parts. There's no need to answer right away. Please, think it over. <sighs> we will do so then. We leave. Lady Yuna, I await your favorable reply. Why are you still here, sir? I beg your pardon. We Guado are keen to the scent of the far plane. Yuna, the High Summoner's daughter, Seymour, the leader of the Guado, married in the name of Yevon, overcoming the barriers of race. It would give Spira something cheery to talk about for a change. Sounds just like a passing daydream, like Oren says. Come on, let's just get on with the pilgrimage. I mean, marriage? Hmm, jealous? What? No way! We gotta defeat Sin. Romance can wait. You sure picked a fine time to lay this one on us. Maybe it is a fine time. You serious? If my getting married would help Spira, if it would make people happy, if I could do that for people, maybe I should do what I can. I never imagined doing anything like this, but I won't answer till I know what's right. Seriously? You could always just quit your pilgrimage and get married. <laughs> I will. Go on. I'm sure that Lord Seymour will understand. Um, I guess so. I am a summoner. I must fight and defeat Sin. Like Braska before you. <laughs> I had to stop myself from shouting. What's there to think about? I'm going to the Far Plane. I'm going to see my father and think on this. Go on. We'll be right behind you. Mm. I wondered why none of the others ever asked Yuna. Do you love Seymour? Do you even like him? Thank you.
question about this far plane. When somebody dies, a summoner sends them to the far plane, right? So their souls, or whatever they are, uh, they go to the far plane, right? But that's the far plane we're going to, right? And Yuna's old man's there too? Do dead people live there or something? Hmm. <laughs> you thinking those funny thoughts again, yeah? <laughs> You'll see once we get there. Aren't you coming? I do not belong there. <laughs> You're scared. Searching the past to find the future. This is all that is there. I need it not. You'd better be going. You're not really going to see the dead. More like your memories of them. People think of their relatives, and the Pyreflies react to them. They take on the form of the dead person. An illusion, nothing else. Hmm. Well, have fun. What? You're not going either, Riku? I keep my memories inside. Huh? Memories are nice, but that's all they are. What the? The far plane was cool, but I couldn't stop thinking about Yuna. Her parents, they looked so happy together, but it got me worried that maybe seeing them would make Yuna really consider Seymour's proposal. Yo, Chapu! Meant to come see you earlier, yeah? Sorry. I know you won't hold it against me. Eh, I gave up that game. I'm a guardian from here on, you know? This guy looks a lot like you. Showed up. Traveling with him, I thought maybe you were still alive somewhere, yeah? But then again, here you are on the far plane. Guess your place is here. So, how you been? Oh, that guy I just told you about. I gave him your sword. He likes it. Huh? Wow. Just a second. He is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> What? I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Hmm, how about mm, Waka? What, me with Waka? Yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough, not even close. Oh, sorry, my mistake. You'd do well to remember that. 
Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. Yeah, I'll remember. I won't be forgetting either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. Why don't you try calling someone? So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. I remember. When I was only seven years old, in Bavel that day, my father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? Uh, uh. I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, Call Sir Jack. Give it a try. Huh? Don't worry. He won't come. Trying not to think about my old man made me think about him, of course. See, told you. He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is sin? What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? I'd rather never see him again. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Uh, uh, Mom? It's her. She's very pretty. Wait, no one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there, uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hmm, it's okay. Uh, I think I just figured something out. What? Why I hate my old man. See, so I told him what I thought of him right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, just a sec, sec, dear. Ah, uh, go to him. He'll cry if you don't. Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. <gasps> Lord Jiskal! Oh, Lord Jiskal! Uh, he does not belong here. Why? Yuna, send him. Mm -hmm. 
alive. Lord Jiskel! He is Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. <laughs> What was that just now? That really Lord Disco? He wasn't sent, so he became a fiend, right? <laughs> I would think that he was sent once. But he stayed on Spira. Something, a powerful emotion, could have bound him to this world. Such things happen. That's against the rules, isn't it? It means he died an unclean death. <laughs> <laughs> 